is our Petiolaris climbing hydrangea. It's a drought resistant, heavy shade plant. It can take heavy shade. It'll also withstand rabbit damage. Rabbits don't seem to bother it much. It has good winter interest. It's a showy, fragrant hydrangea with low maintenance and low to medium water needs. It's a part shade to full sun. It can grow 30 to 50 feet high by 5 to 6 foot wide. It grows in USDA zones 4 to 8. It's a vine. It grows best in rich, fertile soils, moist but well-drained. It tolerates full sun only if grown with consistently moist soils. It's somewhat more tolerant of humid and hot conditions of the deep south and typically will not thrive in USDA zones 8. It's slow to establish, but once established, it'll be a vigorous grower. We have them here available at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. And yes, we do have other kinds of hydrangea for sale as well. You can call us at 215-651-8329. We're located in Fountainville, Bucks County, Pennsylvania. Give us a call at Highland Hill Farm for your trees and shrubs. 215-651-8329. We ship from Fountainville, PA, Milan, PA, Lenore, North Carolina, and McNinville, Tennessee. Thank you. This is Bill at Highland Hill Farm, and today we're transplanting into pots these white pine transplants. White pine transplants are very easy to grow and they're good for screens and buffers or as a standalone tree in your landscape. And what we do with these is we plant these directly in the field and then we also plant a bunch of them in pots. And I'm gonna take you over here and I'm gonna show you the pots that we're doing. If I can squeeze through here. Right back in here, we have a bunch of our potting area, and here's where we're potting them up. We have a potting soil mix here that we use, and it has some vermiculite and perlite in it. And then we also get in some material from landscapers that they don't want, like old spent uh, compost or old spent mulch from developments. And we take that and we mix it in, and we make our own potting soil with it. And we then, after we get them ready, here's what they look like in the uh, in the bare root form. These have been trimmed and okay again this is our deer feeder. It's a four poster feeder. It puts corn in this hopper here. We put corn in there and we have prithron on here and when the deer rub up against here to eat out of the trough it gets rubbed with this pesticide that kills ticks. Now it's not a very potent ticicide. It's what you use on your dog and you do spray it on your clothing and so it's not a high powered ticicide but it does kill them and it's up to 95% effective in interrupting the life cycle.